Matan, what's up, man? I'm early, so take your time. It is an amazing sign in the entrance. I can ask you, what's a really quick overview on Factory? Our mission is to bring autonomy to software engineering. We are building end-to-end software development agents called Droids. Focus really not just on the coding in particular, but the entire software development lifecycle. Prior to Factory, I was in academia doing theoretical physics research. Eno was working at Microsoft, which is maybe the most bureaucratic organization there is. And then after that, Hugging Face, which is maybe the most laissez-faire organization there is. And so having the kind of three corners of big bureaucracy, little bureaucracy, and then no job ever, <laughs> we kind of come together and figure out what are the optimal ways to build an organization. What sort of open secret you guys have in mind here that you're capitalizing on that lets you move faster than others. Engineers in the enterprise in particular have a lot of unsexy use cases that cause them a lot of problems. If we can go in and solve that, that makes them that much more eager to go in and adopt this new way of building, which is kind of agent native. So I think that's something that's worked quite well for us. With us, we have founding engineer Nikita Lilichenko. Star of the team, as, I, <laughs> as I'm told. So how many people were here when you joined? It was just Matani, you know, and David, and then I joined. Did you realize this was going to be a special company when you signed up? I mean, I've been passionate about AI agents since I was born. So I was... Pretty pretty excited to, to finally join one. How did you guys get in touch in the first place? Friends of friends. The first time we met, we were supposed to meet at a blue bottle and we went to different blue bottles. <laughs> yeah, and we, we cut our losses and just went home and Google Meet. Yeah. So. <laughs> Why do you think, as a founder, Sequoia has the reputation that they do? This is actually funny. So the way we initially got introduced to them, I was doing a PhD at Berkeley in theoretical physics. All I cared about that decade was basically physics and math. Didn't know anything about VC. Cold emailed one of them because he used to be a string theorist. Met with him. He kind of dared me to drop out of my PhD, which I did. I reached out because I saw a YouTube interview on Zoom during COVID of him. And I remembered his name because in a string theory paper, I cited him, Sean McGuire. And I was like, first of all, what the hell is this string theorist doing talking about VC? Second of all, he's like, normal and has social skills, which is kind of rare among among theoretical physicists. So realized I didn't want to do physics anymore and kind of uh, reached out to him for some advice. The thing that I was surprised by is I naively expected that the firms that have the most like storied history, the most reputation would be the ones that are kind of the most relaxed and don't really care because they ride on their name. I found it to be the exact opposite. So tell me about one sort of archetype or role that you're like really excited to hire for. I think one that we're particularly excited about is front end engineers with really good taste and sensibility and kind of systems thinking are more important than ever, especially at Factory, where not only are we building the best agents, but we also need to have the best interface and interaction pattern for developers to see this new way of building and kind of adopt this new agent-native development.